Well, is your smartphone outsmarting you? Well, Lee, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, your phone is tracking your each and every move. And as Five on Your Side investigator Sarah Buddison tells us, it's happening even if you've taken steps to secure your privacy. Your smartphone allows you to search the web, get directions, and communicate with friends. Hi, this is Sarah. But the Five on Your Side investigators found Apple and Google are also doing something else. I think it's slightly creepy. We surprised moms in Rocky River. I didn't realize that that was happening with Google. Chris was concerned when we talked to him at this coffee shop. Creepy, without question. So were students at CSU. I'm not surprised with um, the way technology is. Five on your side showed them how your smartphone tracks your every move. Did you know that you were being tracked this extensively? No. No, not until you showed me today. What they were looking at is my location history. I signed in on Google. It shows my Android phone tells Google everywhere I go and even what time I was there. On this day, it followed me from home to work and back. And on this day, when I drove out east to meet with Ken Smith. Bottom line, if your phone is on, you are being tracked. That's correct. Computer security expert Ken Smith says if you want the convenience of a smartphone, you have to give up some privacy. Google, their, of course, main source of revenue is targeted ads. So the more information they have on individual customers, the, the more you know, fine-tuning they can apply to their advertising. iPhones send your information to Apple in a similar way. Frequent locations, guesses where you live and work based on tracking your Wi-Fi and cell signal. In other words, turning off your GPS won't stop your smartphone from outsmarting you. Google knows I went to Target, and Google knows I went to the gym. I showed Holly how to pull up her location history so she could see where Google tracked her. I think it's inevitable, and I think that you as a consumer have to be savvy. We're on your side to stop Google from spying on you. Go to Settings. Go to Location Services, then uncheck the boxes for GPS and Wi-Fi. It's not as simple to stop Apple. It takes five steps on an iPhone with iOS 7. Go to your settings, click on Privacy, then Location Services. Here you'll see a list of all of the apps that know your location. Keep going into System Services and find Frequent Locations. This is where you can turn off the covert tracking. But wait! There's someone else still watching you. Your cell phone company also tracks your every move. As long as you're connected to the cell network, you have a reasonable uh, location estimate that the company can then track. Here's the catch. Chances are you gave Google or Apple permission to spy on you. Buried in the fine print of your user agreement, Smith says you'll find information about allowing your smartphone to keep track of everything you do. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.